The world has gone through one of the most profound shifts in just the last 12 months. For many of us, this has been a bewildering time, an extraordinary set of changes that require a map to help us see what these changes might mean and what the deeper political and social issues might be. Calculating Empires is a visual manifesto. We are offering people a map to help translate to help locate where they are in these systems and what is happening at this deeper level, looking at the relationship between technology and power over five centuries. Uh, beginning in the 1500s, we see this extraordinary interlacing of the ways that empires have used technology to centralize power. For us, the question here is not what kind of worlds can technology build, but what kind of world do we want to live in. This is not just a question of you know, technology and ethics, this is a question of nature, humanity, and how we deal with technology. The anatomy of AI was really designed to give us a different view, a different way of seeing of artificial intelligence systems. AI is commonly represented as being immaterial, abstract, and we so rarely think about the materiality of these systems. This was the first major project that Vladan and I did together starting in 2016. We studied all of the components of an AI system from the mining and the minerals thing all the way through the data pipelines where our voices become part of how AI systems are trained and to the end of life to where these devices are thrown away, generally after just three or four years. This was, for us, a multi-year research and illustrative process of tracking a truly planetary system in one device, which in this case was the Amazon Echo. So basically, the anatomy consisted of three parts. Uh, the first part, it's birth. Second life, it's life. And the third one, it's a death of one device. So what we usually have in our hands, it's just like an interface. And, but the, the real bad to do basically what we did with that map is to try to put down that mask of interface and try to understand what is the real anatomy of, 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 of this. In a way to understand all the risks or the problems or all the power relations, you need to dive deep into that story. As you walk through the first floor of the show, uh, we've really created a full anatomical theater. So you have the anatomy of AI, but then we actually open up the patient of artificial intelligence and see its core composite elements. We also importantly look at the corporate imaginaries of AI. That means looking into the patents the ways that companies intend to build systems in future. People can come into the map room to, for themselves, develop a strong political understanding of what is at stake when human autonomy, when human agency is being compromised by systems that are extraordinarily powerful. We are interested in, in understanding how different aspects of, of history or, or, or are basically repeating or, or how they are uh, projecting some like maybe really wrong ideas or seeds that are seeded in the history like maybe a few hundred years ago, how those ideas are still being present. Okay, so we can speak about technology, we can verse all emotions, we can face recognition systems, uh, uh, emotion recognition systems. It's a basically never-ending story. The, the, some of the maps that we have here from, I think, 15, 16, uh, hundreds were basically high-tech objects from the period, you know? So this is some kind of cognitive common space that we want to share with other people. And so we provided like books, we provided objects in order to, to uh, create that experience. I'm interested in like the how those like uh, uh, technologies are going to influence the life of people, what kind of new inequalities those technologies are going to bring, and what kind of new, new uh, uh, concentrations of wealth and power will, will they create. 
This work and the research that I do together with Vladan has been an incredibly important way, not just of thinking about these technologies and the extraordinary changes of recent years, but to look at these deep historical questions around how humans have created social systems and how we decide how to live within them.